So the question comes up from time to time of whether or not the low row foot plate attachment for the Prime Prodigy series will work with a rep rack, specifically the PR5000. And this is so that you can use the adjustable pulley along the upright to get the best angle for your low rows and of course sit on your bench rather than the floor. And the answer is yes, but with a very simple and minor modification, which I'm going to show you how to do. Now, it's important to note that although the question does typically come from those who own a rep rack, uh, the mod will also adapt the foot plate for any of your Chinese or metric, metric equivalent 3x3 25mm hole racks that you would get from, say, Titan or Frey Fitness or any of those. As you probably already know since you're here, but if not, I'll say it anyway, uh, the problem is that because Prime uses a true standard measurement or Freedom units, if you're a red-blooded American, the attachment pins are exactly four inches apart for use with their two-inch hole spacing. And because your Chinese rack is made using the metric system, the hole placement along your upright is more like 50 millimeters, which, regardless of which tape measure you use, it is slightly closer together than the holes of an American standard upright. After you've put on your safety glasses or whatever else you need to feel comfortable, there are three things that you are going to need before you start. The first thing you're going to need is the low row foot plate from Prime Fitness, which you can use code MWPIG5 at checkout to save 5% off of your purchase. Next, you're going to need an angle grinder, something like this four inch grinder that I have here. And last, you're going to need a 5 32 inch Allen wrench. I believe we can get this completed in, I don't know, three steps, four steps maybe. It's really not that, that intense. Step one, you're going to remove this UHMW by using the 5 32 inch Allen wrench. After that, you're going to use your angle grinder to remove a little bit of material from the very top of the topmost pin right along here. I know it sounds scary, but I swear it's not. You just you really can't mess this thing up either. So don't be afraid to get in there. Just note that you're removing a little bit from this topmost ridge right down the center and a little bit left to right, kind of going back and forth. Ultimately, you're going to create kind of a slightly oblong shaped pin. Then you're going to test fit it in your rack, repeat it as necessary. And if you really want a nicer looking finished product, I'd recommend finishing it off with a few really quick passes with a flap wheel or a higher grit sandpaper, something like that. Just make sure that you leave enough material that you're not removing too much, right? And you can figure that out during the, the fitment process. Once you are satisfied with the fitment, you're going to reinstall the UHMW using the Allen wrench and screws. Then you're gonna post pictures of the finished product to your social media, because if you don't, no one will ever know how awesome and handy you are with the home gym mods. And that's it, seriously, it is that easy. In fact, it's so easy that I hesitated to even make this video, but I do get the question often enough that I figured if nothing else, I can just use this for future reference instead of personally walking through it with every single person who comes my way. And with that, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, write a song about it, whatever.